Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to discuss about CloudEra new certification CDP 2001 that is specifically for administrators uh, and the design for private cloud-based CDP cluster creation. So let's go in detail and try to understand what it is. So as you remember, there were previously a uh, four certification which were more of around Hadoop and Spark. They have created the certification name was CCA 175 for Hadoop and Spark, CCA 159 for uh, analytics, 131 for administrator and SPI certified for data engineer. So all this four certification has been retired by CloudEra now. And they come up with a new certification, which is a more fit with their new platform, CloudEra Data Platform. That is CDP platform, which is a combination of CloudEra as well as Hortonworks platform and many optimization on that, especially security and governance trend. So this certification, CDP 2001, is created for system administrator to work on and set up a new cluster on a private cloud. So let's go in detail for the specific certification. So CDP 2001 is the name of the certification. This certification is designated for specific rules as I mentioned system administrator. There is one certification from CloudEra CDP 0011 which is not dedicated to any particular role. This is more a generic uh, certification across all roles. But this particular certification 2001 is for the administrator only. This certification exam to test the skills whether a certificate can manage and maintain cloud data, data platform or not. Especially in a private data center, you can say not on a cloud. So this is the syllabus which uh, in very uh, short they have defined uh, and we will explore more in a, each subject area what would be they are going to ask the question. So these are the majorly five topics which they are going to ask in the CDP administrator exam. Installation and initial configuration which has a 25% weightage which comes out to be 17 questions out of all 70 questions. Connect and manage data sources 14% so it is around 10 questions. Managing users on the cluster, then you would have a five question on that. Monitor and troubleshoot, which is the highest uh, weightage area and that is expected. And this is the area where you can score more. It's not that tough area. Uh, so this is 38% and 27 questions are there. Manage data security and governance, 16%, 11 questions. This last topic is very, very critical because in the entire industry, nobody can provide such a good way this manage data security and governance they have managed cloud and i have managed this one is very beautifully across all on the big data platform specifically so this entire cdp platform if i would tell you it's a beautiful platform like data management whatever you can think of this is my problem regular industry problems like data governance security auditing create managing multiple hadoop cluster like test cluster, UAT clusters, development cluster, production clusters. These are all can be managed using a single UI in the CDP platform. That is their cloud era managed UI. So they try to manage everything in the single pane of UI of this entire uh, your big data world. So this is such a beautiful platform, which is very e difficult to develop or innovate for any individual organization. This is what Basically, most of the organizations are going if they have a huge volume of data, whether they are solving analytical problem, data science problem, data engineering problem, security and governance problem, big data problem, uh, high query engine, Spark compute engine. So this is like this platform provides all together in a single platform, which can be easily managed. So for administrator, this is very, very uh, smooth compared to uh, managing previously a uh, Hadoop cluster. So that is where and that is why this become very popular the CDP platform and fortune 500 companies which really have huge volume of data are already using this platform in their production and they have a different solution even for private cloud base even for public cloud base there are various organization which has a constraint they cannot go to cloud because of their uh, compliance reason so they can use this private cloud 
based cluster as well and the private cloud based is a obviously cheaper solution compared to cloud based solution if you have a long term reason for big data and certainly you would have a, a bigger uh, and long term reason so now let's move further and uh, discuss each topic in depth installation and initial configuration which covers 17 questions so in that you need to have first your operating system set up what is the minimum requirement correct um, that is what you should be uh, able to find it out then installing that cdp platform using the cloudera manager cloudera manager installation itself how do you do that and there are various configuration settings which you need to do modifying various service configuration service are like various services in the cdp platform correct like spark is one service hdfs is one service hbase is one service uh, uh, then uh, nifi is one service so these are all services which you should be able to manage their configuration even there are sometimes you need to go to the file level to do the configuration so you need to know where for each component file is present so i can make the configuration directly in files as well adding new services to existing clusters like if you want to add new service to your existing cluster like you wanted to add a kafka to your existing cluster you can do using cdp how you would do and kind of the questions around would be asked adding and removing host obviously you are managing various clusters and you need to scale up or scale down your cluster then you need to be able to uh, add new host to the cluster and removing a uh, bad host from the cluster or reducing cluster size and kind of thing so that is what uh, that ui if you go through uh, our some of the videos or we are going to prepare for the same then you would find it out like how easy it will be done next topic is connect and manage data sources obviously this is a data platform so questions would be around for sure so you need to understand what all are the data storage are supported hdfs storage kudu storage and uh, cloud storage this uh, cdp platform supports and you need to uh, understand like topology or and roles of the hdfs then how hbase no sql database uh, data can be stored then uh, connectivity with the aws google cloud or azure how do you do that because most of the people now started using the object storage of cloud because that is a cheaper solution file formats and data ingestion various file formats correct you remember avro file which is the default file format uh, which you need to understand how do you ingest the data uh, like from rdbms to uh, this hdfs this kind of things you should know ingesting data using file transfer rest interface importing data from relational database using scope correct how do you do that ingesting data using nifi nifi is a workflow engine so which you should know uh, basic understanding of that obviously not in depth is expected from the uh, administrator but you should understand how that can be configured and how people are using it and you should be able to monitor and troubleshoot that platform so there are around 10 questions on this topic would be asked next is a managing users so it's a, this topic is very clear and i want like people should be uh, scoring 100 percent on this section because this is relatively simple um uh, area to cover so you need to able to create new user deleting a user permission to new user entitlement management integrating with a identity provider and uh, power users how you can create it creating groups and assigning roles to the groups and resources roles etc so this is like basic understanding which uh, like it is easily and getting uh, you can get uh, understanding on that and uh, people should be able to score 100 percent on this area for sure now moving to next is monitor and troubleshoot which is 38 percent highest rate is 27 questions would be asked on that but again relatively a uh, simple topic if uh, if you have uh, worked on the cloud era manager for a few days or uh, like two three weeks experiences even uh, if you have good training then you should be able to manage cloud or manage and monitoring features how events and alerts are created health test how can you can perform charts and reports understanding monitoring and recommendations how can you can uh, like because the recommendation is provided by cdp itself correct so you should be able to understand what recommendations are provided cluster troubleshooting tools uh, so you should be able to troubleshoot uh, like if uh, any issue happens so cdp is the first place where you can uh, troubleshoot and kind of thing and misconfiguration if any configuration is wrongly done then you should be able to identify and you should be able to resolve so that is what uh, in this section it would be covered next and last section is managed data security and governance which this is where the cdp or cloudera lead 
on any global any other platform globally available nobody is close to them on this part actually whatever you think of so data governance using sdx hadoop security hadoop authentication using kerberos platform hadoop authorization encryption uh, then securing your hadoop cluster apache ranger understanding apache atlas for data lineage you should be able to understand some basic understanding is expected from you and how you can back up and recover your data or uh, cluster if you have to do so that is some understanding is expected here so this is what uh, the entire syllabus uh, which is part of uh, this certification and once you pass this exam so this kind of uh, one link will be provided for your certification and this which you can uh, share with your employer sorry employee employer and uh, then they can validate your credentials correct so now everything is a digital so no physical copies would be shared and kind of thing so this is what is helpful and this is good uh, thing basically right? so that you can uh, use it even uh, hadoop exam in partnership of quicktech is started doing uh, training and certification which they are providing a virtual uh, certificate digital certificate only so that you can prove it and that you can provide the link so go to quicktechy.com and you can see the all certification which uh, uh, provided by quicktechy as well so those are vendor agnostic certificate so you don't have to stick to any particular vendor or uh, anything uh, and uh, sample certifications questions how do you get it so these are the like total 90 questions would be asked in the exam and uh, the exam certification number is cdp 2001 sorry 70 questions would be asked and the uh, duration for the exam is 90 minutes is there any uh, reference material would be provided during the obviously no previously uh, there were hands-on exam so that's why they were providing the this reference material but this is a multiple choice questions and answer so there is no reference material would be provided during exam how do you prepare for this now hadoop exam is the only one who is providing certification preparation material on this area and uh, we have launched recently uh, this our sim uh, what digital simulator which you can access it from hadoopexam.com so we have currently around 140 questions to practice for this exam so let me show you on the hadoop exam website so if you go to hadoopexam.com website and then uh, either you click on this cloud era tab so if you take click on the cloud era tab so here you can see this is the recently launched certification which you can see now you can click on this and then it would come on this page and uh, then you can see like here two practice paper are provided and one sample paper so if you launch this sample paper this is how it would be launched and then you can start and you can read the instructions about this exam as well and uh, you can access this material from anywhere correct so some faqs related to the certificate which you should uh, go through at least once and then these are the way the questions would be provided so i'm just selecting random question and answer and this is the explanation would be shown to you uh, for each question correct and you can click and move like this so this kind of course certificate so the sample paper is free to all and uh, you can access it and you can see the detailed explanation for each question and answer and if you once click on the practice paper so this is once you have a paid subscription you can access this so important point here to remember is like always check with what user you are logged in because your access to the certification method is always linked to the gmail account id uh, which you have uh, subscribed from google group so that's why here we uh, put a note as well make sure this google user is same on which access permissions are given so this is where you need to check like you are logged into the correct uh, users kind of thing right so this is your paper once it is launched you can see like that again similar FAQ and uh, there would be around 70 questions would be provided and you can see the detailed explanation or something uh, that would be provided here. So that is what you can see uh, here that uh, certification and we will keep adding new new material. So this is how you can access it and if you want you can get it as part of your annual subscription as well. So if you get uh, this one certification sorry this annual subscription which is a uh, quite cheaper and the uh, best option so you can see under this you can click on this all even old certification right now is available on this to access for you so you can access it if you would really wanted to learn and kind of thing so that is what we have and uh, if you wanted to know like how frequently Hadoop exam is to be releasing and updating and how do you find it out what is recently uh, released by Hadoop exam so go to release and updates tab here click on this 
and you can see like uh, when is this was released and kind of thing so here you can see this is released on uh, 8 may 2022 we have released this and we got a lot of subscription as soon as we have launched this uh, certification so thank you thanks for your support and we wanted you to make success in your career so uh, we would give uh, material which really helpful for you uh, basically always uh, to uh, give you the uh, good material basically that is what our intent here so thank you and wish you all the best for your career i'm stopping now